In this video, I'm going to test out some of the best WordPress plugins to help you improve your PageSpeed Insight score, as well as your page loading time for your website. According to Yoast, the WordPress search optimization experts, you should do the best that you can with your PageSpeed score, but what's really important is to look at the actual loading time of your pages. In this video, I'm going to look at both, but I'm going to base the results on the actual page loading time. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com, and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of making high quality websites. In this video, I'm gonna be using the Divi theme for WordPress. Divi recently got a major upgrade with the release of the Divi theme version 3.0. And I think it's currently the best theme for WordPress. It offers a great front end page builder, as well as some really useful features if you're serious about building a quality website. If you wanna learn more about the Divi theme, you can check out my review of it. I'll also include a sponsored link to Divi in the description below. I also reference a few different articles in this video, and I'll include links to those in the description below. I use the Divi theme for my website, and I wanted to specifically find out if there were plugins to speed up the Divi theme. These plugins should really work with any WordPress theme that you're using. I've had a blog post on the Elegant Themes blog, the creators of the Divi theme, called How to Improve Your Google Page Speed Score. They tested a lot of different things. I just skipped to the items that seem to actually work and make the greatest impact on improving your page speed. So I set up several identical test sites, all on the same shared server. One site I kept as a control, so I didn't make any changes to that site. Then on each of the other sites, I added one of the recommended WordPress plugins for improving page speed. I tested the WP Super Cacher plugin, the Auto Optimize plugin, the WP Performance Score Booster plugin. These are all free to use plugins. I was also gonna test one other free plugin, the W3 Total Cache plugin, but recently I read on Yoast's website that there was a security issue with that plugin. I believe that that's since been patched, but it did seem to take a while for it to get patched. And that's often the problem with free plugins, is that it, updates can take a little bit of time, or they might not happen at all. So in the post warning about the W3 Total Cache plugin, Yoast did mention a paid plugin for improving a page speed in WordPress, so I thought I'd give that a try too. So I purchased it myself and installed this recommended plugin, WP Rocket Plugin, on my final test site. So let's go ahead and look at the results. Google PageSpeed Insights divides up their results between mobile and desktop devices. So let's start by looking at the mobile results first. My control site, or the website that I didn't make any changes to, had a mobile ranking of 66 out of 100. So it's good, but clearly it can be improved. So that's our baseline. So the first test that I did was with the WP Super Cache plugin. That brought the mobile score from 66 to 67 out of 100. So that's a slight improvement. Next was the Auto Optimize plugin, which had a nice improvement of 71 out of 100. The WP Performance Score Booster brought the mobile score up to 70 out of 100. And finally, the paid plugin, WP Rocket, brought the mobile score all the way up to 73 out of 100. So that was the best out of these four. Now, let's look at the desktop scores. The desktop scores had a similar rate of improvement. With the standard site, the one that I made no modifications to, I got a score of 80 out of 100, which is also pretty good. Next up, WP Super Cache brought that score up again, just by a little bit, up to 82 out of 100. Auto Optimize did a little bit better than the WP Super Cache plugin, bringing the score up to 84 out of 100. The WP Performance Score Booster did as advertised and brought the desktop score up a little bit more to 85 out of 100. And finally, the paid plugin, WP Rocket, again did the best, bringing the desktop score all the way up to 88 out of 100. That's a really nice improvement all the way from 80 out of 100 to 88 out of 100. Now, instead of looking at the page speed scores, let's look at the actual impact on your audience, and that's the actual load time of your site. I use GT metrics to measure that. Here are the results in a chart. I wasn't able to include all the sites in this GT metrics chart because they only let you to compare four sites at once, so I left out the control site, and the control site had a load time of 2.2 seconds. So first up, we've got the WP Super Cache plugin, and that had a load time of 1.8 seconds. Although it did a little bit better in the page speed ranking, Auto Optimize actually loaded a little bit slower than the Super Cache plugin, loading at 1.9 seconds. Next up was the WP Performance Score Booster, which did the best job of the free plugins at improving the Google Page Speed Insight score, but it actually made the site time load slower. It loaded the site in 2.3 seconds. And finally, the paid plugin, WP Rocket, performed the best, bringing the page load time all the way down to 1.1 seconds. 
So if you're willing to spend a little bit of money to help your pages load faster, the best plugin out of the ones I tested is clearly the WP Rocket plugin. I also tried the WP Rocket plugin on my own site, realwebsitehints.com, and it brought my page load time from 3.1 seconds all the way down to 1.7 seconds. So I think that was money well spent. If you want a free plugin to help improve your site, I would actually go with the lower page load time rather than the page speed score. And the best one for that was the WP Super Cache plugin. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. Do you have your own suggestions for speeding up your WordPress website? Or do you have a website building question? If you do, leave them in the comments below. If you're looking for help building your website, check out my online course using WordPress and the Divi theme. You can learn more about it either at my homepage, realwebsitehints.com, or you can go to realwebsitehints.com slash Divi. For more tips, tricks, and reviews to help you build websites better and easier, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit me at realwebsitehints.com. Thanks for watching.